Hey everyone, we have two major updates regarding the interstellar object, 3i Atlas. First, NASA has finally broken their silence. Today, they will be releasing their images of 3i Atlas via a live stream. The stream page is already up and will begin at 1200p. M, Pacific time, that's when we have that critical planetary geometry, which is interesting because it has a lot of significations as it relates to communication breakdowns and also paradigm shattering moments as it relates to communications. Their chat will be disabled, but I'll be watching the stream closely and offering commentary throughout. So if you want to see what NASA reveals, not only their high-rise imagery, but also anything they gathered during the blackout period, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any key information. The second major update is that a coronal mass ejection is now headed toward 3i Atlas. Yesterday, an active sunspot group, the same one responsible for our recent geomagnetic storms, launched a new CME. It's not the largest, but it is a direct hit toward 3i Atlas. And according to current space weather models, it's expected to reach the object around the 22nd at approximately 1200 UTC. Right now, three, I Atlas is positioned slightly above the ecliptic plane. And the recent solar explosion is also directed just above that plane because of this alignment, instead of overshooting or undershooting, the coronal mass ejection is aimed for a direct impact Imagery from the 17th through the 18th of November in universal time shows the 131 angstrom solar activity behind this eruption, the flare. The coronal mass ejection and its outward trajectory, we cannot see the structure very clearly since it erupted from the far side of the sun, but the material was clearly launched toward 3i Atlas. What is surprising is how suddenly 3i Atlas has become active. Just weeks ago, it appeared quiet. Now it shows a sharp, well-defined tail, visible jets, and a wide, diffuse coma. Earlier, even when several coronal mass ejections struck it, the tail and jets were barely visible, possibly hidden because of the viewing angle, as the object was nearly aligned with Earth before its superior conjunction on the 21st and even during the major coronal mass ejection that struck it near perihelion on the 29th, 3 I Atlas showed little more than an extended coma. But now, with a far better viewing geometry and still close to the sun, the object looks energized, awake, active, and rapidly brightening after its closest approach to the sun one key factor behind the dramatic change in how 3i Atlas appears lies in its viewing geometry. As the object moved through superior conjunction and our line of sight shifted, the angle at which we observe its tail, coma, and jets changed significantly. Earlier in the year, the tail was almost invisible simply because it was aligned almost directly behind the nucleus from Earth's perspective. Most of the tail structure was hidden in projection. After conjunction, however, the geometry improved sharply, with the tail now viewed more from the side rather than from behind. Its shape and length have become far more apparent. Several optical effects contribute to this, including the projected tail angle, the phase angle between the Sun, Atlas, and Earth, and even forward scattering by dust grains, which can brighten certain structures dramatically depending on the illumination. These changes in viewing geometry do not necessarily indicate that Atlas suddenly developed a tail. It is more likely that the tail was always there, but only now can we see it clearly um, in our solar system, strong coronal mass ejections can dramatically reshape comets their plasma waves can strip away tails or trigger sudden changes in the surrounding environment. The Rosetta mission observed this directly when a coronal mass ejection hit its target comet 
the magnetic field jumped from roughly 30 to 50 nanotesla to nearly 300 nanotesla. Comets do possess magnetic fields that form when their outgassed material becomes ionized and interacts with the solar wind gas. Those and newly created plasma build structured layers around the nucleus and ionopause, a magnetic coma pause, a bow shock, and a slowed, disturbed region where the solar wind pushes into the heavier dust with another coronal mass ejection now approaching three I atlas and possibly additional ones behind it. We may soon witness these same dramatic processes unfolding on an interstellar object. Thanks to global amateur astronomers, we are receiving excellent real-time images. Observers are also studying 3I Atlas's rotation and its unusual jets. The rotation period is estimated to be about 16 hours, relatively slow, with slight variation, and the object appears to be tumbling as it spins Yet a major question remains, how can a downward facing jet, an anti-tail, and several narrow jets stay so sharply defined rather than spreading into a diffuse cloud at first glance? Rotation alone should smear any jet into a broad plume. The explanation lies in the electromagnetic environment. Three, I-Atlas has a small nucleus and the surrounding plasma and magnetic fields can guide and confine the jets, keeping them structured even though the nucleus rotates slowly. Early measurements from the Hubble Space Telescope suggested that the nucleus of 3I Atlas might be up to 2.8 kilometers across, but other estimates reached as high as 50 kilometers. In truth, its actual size is still unknown, this is why NASA's upcoming high-resolution imaging is so important. It may require us to revise the original numbers entirely. Once we obtain a reliable nucleus size, we can finally refine calculations of mass loss, non-gravitational acceleration, surface, reflectivity, and outgassing rates. Without knowing the size of the nucleus, every other measurement carries large uncertainty. Hubble's estimate comes from observations made in July, but the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter captured new high-resolution imagery on the 3rd of October, imagery that may provide the clarity we have been waiting for. 3I Atlas rotates roughly once every 16 hours, drifting inside an enormous coma that was once estimated to be nearly 700,000 kilometers across about half the sun's diameter the tiny rotating nucleus is effectively suspended inside a vast cloud of dust, gas, and plasma that strengthens as the object approaches the sun. In an environment like this, plasma processes cannot be ignored. Ionization of gas and dust generates electric and magnetic fields that shape how material flows away from the nucleus. These fields can sort, guide, and channel the ionized particles, potentially creating stable jets, even though the nucleus's rotation is slow. This explanation, grounded in dusty plasma physics, does not require exotic interpretations or alien technology. 3I Atlas is still following its original trajectory. The supposed black swan event never occurred and nothing indicates an artificial origin, plasma physics remains the most consistent and well-supported interpretation. As always, everyone is encouraged to examine the data and draw their own conclusions. Even so, even if plasma physics explains much of what we're seeing, 3i, Atlas still leaves behind a series of major unanswered questions. These gaps, are exactly what make this interstellar object one of the most debated topics right now. Did 3I Atlas undergo a fragmentation event? We never caught. Sudden changes in brightness and coma structure have led some observers to suspect that a piece may have broken off or it may simply be a plasma-driven effect. Difficult to distinguish without high-resolution imaging. Is it possible the object was preheated in another star system? 
Interstellar objects often carry signatures of the environments they came from. Certain features of 3i Atlas, especially its unusual activity levels, have prompted speculation that it might have previously passed close to another star before drifting into our solar system. Why is 3i Atlas becoming more active after perihelion rather than before, like most comets? This is one of the biggest puzzles. The sudden strengthening of its jets, the expanding coma, and the rising brightness after closest approach to the sun suggests something unusual in its internal material structure or in the way it reacts to the solar wind. And does Atlas contain unusual material signatures, preliminary color, and spectral hints suggest the possibility of carbon chain depletion or, conversely, silicate enrichment features rarely seen in typical solar system comets? If confirmed, 3i Atlas could represent an entirely new class of interstellar objects. These questions can only be answered once NASA releases more detailed data, and that is precisely why the community is anxiously waiting for every frame that's about to be revealed. 3i Atlas continues along its predicted path. Using standard tracking tools, we can see its exact position as of the 17th, and the viewing conditions will steadily improve as it moves toward its perihelion on the 19th of December. As Earth's viewing angle shifts, we will soon see the tail more from the side rather than hidden behind the object, as it was during its earlier alignment near superior conjunction. Previously, the sun's glare and geometry concealed much of the tail, but now the object is emerging into a far more favorable configuration for observation. A quick reminder, 3i, Atlas is faint, it is not Venus, Jupiter, or Sirius to capture real detail, especially its tail and jets. Astronomers must stack multiple long exposure images to improve the signal to noise ratio. The object is constantly moving, the background sky shifts, and atmospheric distortion adds even more noise. Uh, a small smart telescope, such as a $500 sea star, can capture the coma and faint hints of the tail. However, high quality images come from dozens or even hundreds of exposures combined and processed by experienced astrophotographers. This is why live streams often show only a pale blur. They are not stacking frames. Bright comets like last year's comet, 2023P. One Nishimura or ZTF, depending on classification, can display visible tails even to the naked eye. But dim, distant objects like Atlas require careful imaging. Stacking is not optional, it is essential. So when someone claims there is no tail, they are almost certainly looking at unstacked live footage rather than deep processed data. Before NASA releases its new data on 3i Atlas, one major question has been circulating within the astronomy community. Why has NASA remained silent for so long? There are several possible reasons. Processing large volumes of deep space imagery takes time, especially when the target lies close to the sun, where severe optical noise and solar radiation can distort the data. More importantly, Spacecraft often experience signal degradation during periods of solar blackout, when the sun's electromagnetic interference disrupts communications, causing data loss, corruption, or complete dropouts. NASA typically waits for a clean communications window before confirming or publishing any findings. This is why the upcoming release carries so much weight. It may include exactly the types of observations Astronomers have been anticipating for months, such as high phase angle imaging, revealing the tail and coma from rare illumination geometries, close-up views of the nucleus, potentially the first clear measurement of its true size and surface form, jet vector mapping, showing the direction's stability.
and evolution of the object's active jets, dust grain spectroscopy, a critical tool for determining chemical composition and for understanding how 3I Atlas compares with comets born inside our solar system, any combination of these data sets could fundamentally reshape our understanding of 3I Atlas, which is why anticipation for NASA's broadcast continues to build NASA is preparing to release imagery of 3I Atlas from multiple spacecraft and telescopes, including the Hubble Space Telescope. NASA is explicitly calling it an interstellar comet, noting that it displays many comet-like behaviors, though still unlike anything observed in our solar system or in prior interstellar visitors, such as Oumuamua and 2I Borisov. Because of this mixture of familiar and unfamiliar features, many researchers still prefer the broader label interstellar object. It could be a fragment from another planetary system or the remains of an ancient exoplanet. But at this stage, no one knows. NASA's official broadcast will stream on their mobile app, website, YouTube channel, and Amazon Prime the public can submit questions using the hashtag AskNASA during the event. While media outlets will have a separate submission pathway, what happens next will depend entirely on what NASA is about to show us. For the first time since 3I Atlas entered the inner solar system, we are about to receive synchronized, multi-instrument, multi-spacecraft observations, something we've never had for any interstellar object before. If the nucleus turns out to be far smaller than early estimates, or if the jet's display patterns impossible to produce through rotation alone, the conversation around Atlas may shift in ways none of us are prepared for. And if the dust grain spectroscopy reveals unusual chemical ratios that could point to an origin, Unlike anything found among local comets, yet despite all of the excitement, the truth is that we are still standing at the threshold of this mystery. Every model we've discussed, plasma confinement, outgassing dynamics, jet stability, even potential fragmentation remains provisional until NASA's data arrives this is the uncomfortable but thrilling space between what we know and what we're about to learn. Interstellar objects challenge our assumptions precisely because they aren't shaped by the same conditions that form the comets, asteroids, and debris fields of our own solar system. Their chemistry, their structure, even their behavior under solar wind can come from histories, billions of years removed from anything familiar to us. In less than a day, we may watch some of those uncertainties collapse. We may also watch new questions open up just as quickly. Perhaps the nucleus is fractured. Perhaps the jets are being guided by magnetic draping in a way we've never documented before. Or perhaps Atlas will surprise us with something that no one, not ground observers, not theorists, not even NASA predicted. That's the nature of first contact science. You only get one chance to observe an object like this as it sweeps through the inner solar system, experiencing extreme heating, intense solar wind, and now the direct arrival of a coronal mass ejection. So as NASA prepares to reveal its findings, remember, that we are witnessing a moment that will be referenced for years in planetary science, cometary physics, and the study of interstellar debris. Whether Atlas turns out to be ordinary, extraordinary, or something in between, we are watching history unfold in real time. And I'll be covering every frame, every anomaly, and every confirmed detail the moment it drops. If you've made it this far into the chapter, Thank you for following along this journey. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the updated news of NASA's release. And if you found this analysis helpful or just fascinating to think about, don't forget to like the video. It helps the channel reach more people who are also trying to understand what's happening out there beyond our solar system.